Hello, did everybody do their workout? This is another thing you could do too. It works your muscles and your thighs, but you have to have a chair that you can sit in and your feet touch the floor. And if you don't, that's okay, because you can use, you can be on the floor with your knees and stand up. Because you know what? These are activities that we do all the time. We get out of chairs, we get up in the morning, and so if you just do it over and over and over, and then you can switch into the other leg. These are things that we that we need to be able to continue to do when we get older, right? So it's a good idea to do. Now I did tell you that we were gonna do some stretching exercises, and so that's what I want us to get ready to do. Okay, so let's take a deep breath in. One more time. Now let's go ahead and get on the floor. I'm gonna move my chair a little bit. I think you can see my feet. I want you to see if you can touch your toes and hold this stretch. Now I can touch my toes. And if you can go only this far, that's fine as long as you feel the back of your legs stretching. That's very important. Now take one of these legs and cross it over. And then bend, bend your head back as far as you can go and look, look behind you and see what you're looking at. What are you looking at? What do you see? Go ahead and do it on the other side. Ready? Cross that other one over and then look behind you. Look for something blue, maybe something green. All right. Now another really good one. I'm not going to show. There's so many you can do, so I just want to make this video as short as I can. I want us to pretend like you're thinking. And then you're going to stretch that arm all the way up until your hand is straight. That stretches that entire arm, the nerve, the muscles, and everything. And take your hand, bend it back, and stretch that. It's good to hold stretches. You can count to 10 when you do them. We won't really count today, though. I just wanted to show you some of the stretches. And then you can turn your hand the other way. Put your fingers up tight and stretch that hand that direction. And another one is that you do the other arm. So let's do the other arm real fast before I show you the other one. That feel really good. You don't want to do it to where it hurts though. You just want to stretch it because we're moving our bodies in all different ways that we can. We have so many muscles to move and so we can be alive and free, move our bodies. Okay, so the other one that I was going to show you is just the fingers are together. Now stretch them apart and you can move them and wiggle them around. This is really good if you play the piano, but we use our fingers to write too. We use our fingers for so many things. What if you didn't have one of your fingers there? would be really hard. We need all five of them, don't we? Now, I did tell you that we were going to do a little yoga, but I looked all over for my book that I wanted to have you look at and do because it's so cute and easy to follow, but I couldn't find it. So I have a few other little things that we will just use real quick. So see this picture? See if you can do what this, these stick figures are doing. So you're Legs are spread apart and your arms are out like that. I have to be able to fit here, huh? Now, I'm going to show you one more. This one's going to switch to a little bit. This stick figure here. So keep your arms out while I put this up there. I think I have to keep this one off. Now, it's not seen as well. Oh, there we go. Okay, look at, look at down here. He's bending his knees. So your, your legs are already out. Just bend your knees down. And your arms are out here. But now that one of them is this way, with the elbows bent, and one is up high. 
pointing up to the ceiling, one's pointing to the floor. And then you just hold that one. You can even try to bend down low as you can go. And hold that one. And I don't want to make this um, a, a too long of a video like the other ones were, so I'm going to go ahead and get the next one, okay? So this one, you can, you can even switch arms. And then the next one we're going to do, stay in that same position real quick. I'm going to move that one. Okay, arms are the same. It's, it's either way you want to do it, but your legs are turning, you're bending down, but your knee is not touching the floor. Like that. You're going to see if you can hold it. Let's count to five, okay? One, two, three, four, five. Now let's go to the other side so we can bend this knee. Maybe we can switch our arms too. Let's hold that one. One, two, three, four, five. Very good. And I'm going to move that one. We're just going to do three more, okay? Let's do this one. This one, he has his hands on his hips. Or she. And then you stick one leg up. You're stretching that calf. It's almost like when we stretched our whole legs. This time we're stretching the calf really good. Okay, let's do the other leg. Ready? Get up. And stick that leg out and stretch and hold that one back as you bend over. I want you to do these every day, okay? These are really, really good because you can use your legs to walk and run. These are really good ones. All right, stand back up. Let's do number two. I said three more. There's three. Here's two. Looks like you get to balance on one knee, on one leg by putting one knee up in the air. Can you do that? Can you hold it? Maybe your arms are shaking a little bit, but that's okay. Look at one thing and try to see if you can stay balanced. Okay, let's switch to the other leg. Maybe that leg's getting tired. These are really, really good too for so many different muscles and your balance. Oh, I love this one. This is a great stretch as well. Okay, the last one. Here we go. Okay, look at that. Now we're going to bend, bend your knees. And let me look at it one more time because I got to look at it too so I can remember. Oh yeah, I think he's bent over all the way down, but then his head rolls down too. As far as you can go. And then you can get on the knees and then you can curl down like this. That's a really good yoga stretch too. And make sure you're breathing. Well, thank you for joining me for the last of our moving videos for our PE, preschool PE. And now you can get any type of music. This music's a little too fast for this type of stretching, but that's okay. I'm so glad that you can learn some, uh, some stretching exercises. See you next time.